Welcome back. We are glad to have you. An update now on Hurricane Ian and the rush to Florida preparing for the storms. Residents are stocking up on water, generators and other supplies as that hurricane continues to strengthen. ABC's Morgan Norwood is there and has more on the expected impact. As Hurricane Ian continues to strengthen in the Atlantic, residents in parts of Tampa under mandatory evacuation. We expect to have to evacuate over 300,000 people and it will take some time. Time is of the essence. Act now. Officials worried about a catastrophic storm surge in the city that could reach up to 10 feet above sea level. This portion of the coastline, the west coast of Florida, is incredibly vulnerable to storm surge. I want to stress that if you're ordered to evacuate, that you, you must comply with those evacuation instructions. Residents are boarding up and gathering supplies, including sandbags and non-perishables. We weren't expecting it to come right at us, and now it looks like it is, so it's a little concerning. This one looks like it could be a real one, so I'll try and protect my property, get stuff up to the second level where I can. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declaring a state of emergency across the entire state. Please be prepared uh, because this is a very big storm. It's about 500 miles wide. Ian forecast to make landfall in Florida on Thursday with heavy rain, high winds and flooding, though the exact track of the storm is still up in the air. And so, yes, follow that track, but don't think because that eye may or may not be in your area that you're not going to see impacts. You're going to see significant impacts. Ian is expected to become a major Category 3 hurricane tonight as it moves through Cuba and continues to strengthen as it hits the warm waters in the Gulf. And officials are beginning to announce some closures. The Tampa airport may shut down over the next day, and schools in this area also close in order to reopen as shelters. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Tampa, Florida.